Good day. Today, we're off on a thrilling journey through South Africa's stunning landscapes. This is a continuation of our study on South Africa from above. Check out the link below for our first discussion on important landscapes in South Africa. From vast grasslands to dense jungles and rugged mountains, each stop promises excitement and wonder. Get ready to learn more about the highveld, the lowveld, and the rugged beauty of the Karoo. Then, we'll venture into the Kalahari Desert before ending our adventure amidst Namakulan's vibrant flowers. Are you ready? Let's uncover the magic of South Africa together. At the end of our videos, we have some questions for you to try out. You can test yourself with these before we show you the answers. It's a fun way to see how well you understand the topic. Practicing with these questions not only helps you grasp the material better but also boosts your confidence and performance when facing tests and exams. Regions in South Africa are separated by their distinct geographical features, such as elevation, climate, and natural vegetation. The Little Karoo is a region in the Western Cape province of South Africa. It is also known as the Klein Karoo or the Southern Karoo. The Little Karoo is located between the Langeberg Mountains and the Outaniqua Mountains in the south and the Swartberg Mountains in the north. The Little Karoo is separated from the Great Karoo by the Swartberg Mountain Range. It lies in a 300 km long and 50 km wide valley in the Cape Fold Mountains, with the Swartberg Range to the north and the Langeberg Outaniqua Range to the south. The Little Karoo has a semi-desert climate. Summers are usually hot and dry. In winter the days often are warm, but the nights can be quite cold. It is as arid as the Great Karoo, except along the foothills of the Swartberg, which are well watered by streams that cascade down the mountains. The Great Karoo is found south of the escarpment and north of the Little Karoo. It is on the western section of South Africa. The Great Karoo is a semi-desert region. It is an area of flat plains and steep mountains. The Great and Little Karoo are large valleys found between mountain ranges in the Western Cape. The Great Karoo is much bigger in size compared to the Little Karoo. This is why one is called Great and the other Little. The Lowveld region is located between the Lebombo Mountains in the east and the northern part of the Drakensberg in Limpopo and Pumalanga. These lowlands, with elevations less than 500 meters above sea level, mark South Africa's northern boundary with Botswana and Zimbabwe. The Lowveld is characterized by a warm, humid climate and diverse landscapes ranging from fertile river valleys to open savannas and bushveld, the Lowveld is home to iconic wildlife reserves like Kruger National Park. Its fertile soils support agriculture. The Lowveld is susceptible to occasional flooding during the rainy season as it is near major rivers such as the Limpopo and the Sabi. The Highveld is located on a high plateau inland of South Africa. The Highveld is a high-lying area over 1,600 meters high. It is found mostly in the Free State, Gorting, Pumalanga, and the eastern part of the northwest province. Johannesburg, the largest city in South Africa, is found there. The Highveld covers about 30% of South Africa's land area. The Highveld is the wettest and most fertile portion of the plateau. The Highveld occupies the central eastern portion of the plateau. It is generally between 1,500 and 2,100 meters above sea level and highest on the edge of the escarpment to the east on the Drakensberg and sloping downwards to the south and west. The Kalahari is located in Botswana, 
Namibia, and South Africa. It is a large, semi-dry, sandy area. The Kalahari, nearly 1 million square kilometers, covers much of Botswana, parts of Namibia and South Africa. It is a semi-desert, with large amounts of excellent grazing after good rains. The Kalahari supports more animals and plants than a true desert, such as the Namib Desert to the west. Namaqualand is found in Namibia and South Africa. This is a dry region along the northwestern coastline of South Africa. It is divided by the Orange River into Little Namaqualand in the south and the Great Namaqualand in the north. Namaqualand is famous during spring, around September, when the area is covered with colorful wild flowers. Before we conclude, please try to answer the following questions before the answers pop up. You can pause the video as you go. Let's meet again as we discuss further on mountains, mountain ranges, valleys, and hills, rivers, waterfalls, coastlines including capes and bays in South Africa. You can check out the link below for more on this. Please remember to subscribe so that you do not miss our weekly uploads. Otherwise, thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.